is my phone case. It has my face on it and my husband's face. I didn't buy this for myself. My husband bought this as a gift. My face is on my own phone. You know, it's like chill. It's chill. I don't look conceited or anything. You know. Hey everyone, Grommies Pistols here and welcome back to my channel. What, what? Anyways, so today I am bringing you guys my Q&A for hitting 2,000 subscribers. Thank you guys again so much. I like literally cannot believe that I have 2,000 people. Well, now it's like over 2,000 people that are subscribed to me here on YouTube. So it's like super crazy to me and I'm like so excited about it. So thank you guys so much. I really, 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 really appreciate it. I really do. Thank you. Anyways, so I had said that once we hit 2,000 subscribers that I would do a Q&A video. So here we are. Making this Q and I video. Um, anyways, I'm pulling out my questions right now. Also, I just want a little disclaimer. Uh, it is beyond windy outside of my house. You know, on the outside where wind happens, uh, it's really windy. So I'm really sorry if you hear random like in like the video. Okay, so first question is: Are you going to make your Sims 4 LP a Sims 3 LP? Um, I'm thinking you mean by taking my Sims 4 characters and turning them into Sims 3 characters, which I, I honestly think is a really cool idea. Hopefully that's what you're asking. But um, I think that's a cool idea and I might do that. I'm not very sure at the moment. I don't think I'm going to start any new LPs right now. I kind of want to have like 30 different LPs in my head that I want to start. But I don't think I'm going to start any new ones at this very moment. But that is something that you know could definitely be an LP in the future, possibly. Do you have a boyfriend? I actually have a husband, so step up from a boyfriend, I got a husband. <laughs> so next question, how long were you and your husband together before you got married? Also, how is married life? That's actually really funny, that was like right in front of the other question. My husband and I have been together for three and a half years now, we got engaged at, or just two years, we had just hit two years when we got engaged. Um, so we dated for two years, got engaged, we um, were uh, engaged for 11 months and then got married a couple months ago. Yeah. <laughs> and also how is married life? Married life is awesome. I love being married. It's so much fun. I always have someone there uh, whenever I want to talk and whenever I want to chill or I'll be like, you know, I kind of want a snack. And he'll be like, you want to go get something? I'm like, like, yes. I love being married. It's awesome. And it's been an adjustment because we're living like with my parents right now and we only have one room, which is this room. I mean, it's a pretty big room, granted that, but it gets kind of cramped. I'll be like, you're driving me crazy. Like literally, like I, you're driving me crazy. He'll be like, you're driving me crazy. And I'm just like, <laughs> so it happens, you know, that's just any relationship, but I love it. I love being married. If you could travel into your game, who would you meet and what would you do? Oh my gosh, that's such a good question. Okay, so I think, okay, so if I could go into my game, I obviously would go into Sims 3, heck yeah, it's like Sims 3's life. Uh, so I probably would, oh, I would just want to meet like the whole Hammond family, which is like my current household families. I totally would want to meet just like the whole family, have like a big family reunion party thing and be like, oh my gosh. Uh, and I would really love to meet like Stella and Madeline. They're like totally my favorites. I'm not gonna lie. They're like my favorites. Yeah, that's what I would do. I would go meet the whole like Hammond family, which is like my current households. That would be pretty awesome. Good question. Like that was some good questions. Okay. There's a couple. This person left a couple. Thank you. Uh, so favorite all-time show. Uh, my favorite all-time show has changed over the years. Because uh, like when I was younger, it was like Liz McGuire. But now, i probably say Criminal Minds. I've watched all 10 seasons of Criminal Minds. And I'm waiting for the 11th season to come onto Netflix. So I like love Criminal Minds. Any of like, those like mystery, murder kind of shows, totally into that stuff. I'm always guessing who it is. I'm always right, by the way. <laughs> I'm like, I know who it is. <laughs> uh, current Obsession. Current obsession. I'm not obsessed. I'm honestly obsessed right now. Um, I've been watching a lot of makeup tutorial videos, which is something I, like I have my own beauty channel, and I'm working on that channel. So I'm wanting to like grow my channel and do more stuff. So I'm having to expand my knowledge in makeup and hair and fashion. So I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube of just you know makeup videos and stuff like that. And I've been just like really obsessed with just doing that. Like that's all I want to do is just sit down and like learn. So that's. Probably my current obsession right now. It changes throughout time with like different stuff, you know? Favorite brand of makeup? Oh, that's a tough one. Okay, so if I had to do drugstore makeup, I would probably say NYX, NYX. They make the best drugstore makeup. 
And then if I had to choose like a high-end one, I probably would say NARS. They have really good foundations, really good blushes. It's way pricier than I want to spend on makeup, but their makeup is really good and I like use a lot of their stuff. So NYX and NARS. <laughs> Favorite Sims 3 and Sims 4 expansion packs. Favorite Sims 3 expansion packs would be Generations for sure and Seasons, Pets, you know, like the usual ones. And I actually really like University Life. I really like that one. Sims 4 expansion packs. So far, probably, um, I like Get to Work, to be quite honest. I like Get to Work because you can actually like go to work with your Sims, which is something like we've all always wanted, you know? So I actually really like that aspect. I know a lot of people got tired of it. I'm still exploring The Sims 4 and still exploring the expansion pack, but I really like that one. Did you play Sims 2? Also, are you going to stream on Twitch soon? Um, yes, I played Sims 2 for the longest time. I was so against Sims 3. Okay, not super against Sims 3. I got Sims 3 the very first week that it came out, back in like 2009. And I was like 13 and I tried it out and I was like, this sucks. Like, I'm totally not into this. Like, this isn't my kind of game style. The way I played my games was completely different than how I play now. So yeah, I did play Sims 2 and I loved it. That was like my baby. Like, I loved Sims 2. And am I going to stream on Twitch soon? I want to. It's been a crazy couple weeks for me. I've had to deal with some like family stuff and nothing like bad or anything. Um, but I just had to deal with that. So I haven't had the time to just sit down and live stream. But I definitely want to get back into it. I have spring cleaned everything. I feel refreshed and better. And I want to get like a new webcam for live streaming and face cam. Because my webcam that's in my computer, it gets laggy when my game gets laggy. So I don't, I need to fix that. I need a separate webcam, basically. What is your all-time favorite expansion pack and stuff pack for The Sims 3? So I answered expansion packs, but I actually didn't answer stuff packs. I have a couple of the stuff packs. I don't have all of them. Like I don't have like Katy Perry sweet treats or stuff like that. Um, but I do have high-end loft stuff. I actually use a handful of stuff from there that I didn't think I would. And I also have like the town life stuff is it like town life or something like that and it came with like a whole bunch of like different buildings that you can put in your towns and i actually really like that one like i'll go in place the towns and then edit the or place the buildings and then edit the buildings so those are like the two that i think are pretty good i really like those ones what inspired you to do youtube so originally a couple of like not a couple of years ago like a while ago like 2010 yeah like 2010 I started my own beauty channel and I kind of tried that out because I had stumbled upon it and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to like make makeup videos and do stuff like that. So for the fact that I knew like nothing about makeup or anything like that and all those videos are now privated, but I um, did that and I tried to do it for a while and stuff, but like I, school got in the way and I just got focused on school. So I couldn't do that anymore and whatnot. So that got put to the side. I had been playing Sims 2. I played Sims 2 up into 2013, okay? Just so you know, that was like forever so I played up into 2013 and then I got a laptop and I was like I wonder if Sims 3 will run on this laptop because I couldn't play Sims 3 on my smaller laptop because it just would not run so I was like maybe I can get Sims 3 to work so I tested it and it actually worked I mean the quality sucked I could not put my settings high at all kind of start from there and I was like oh I want to see if there's like any like LPs and stuff I kind of knew of like gaming videos but I didn't really watch them and I googled, like, or I put into YouTube, Sims 3, whatever, and I came across Life Simmer, which I feel like a majority of people have come across, but I came across Life Simmer, Pink Sim, and um, Sim Sweetie. And so I came across them, and I was like, oh my gosh, these videos are really cool. I can see other people's uh, gameplay. I can see other custom content that they have and all this stuff, and I really enjoyed watching them. I, like, would just sit there and just watch through, like, their playlists of videos. And I loved it. So I was like, you know what? This looks like a lot of fun. I kind of want to try this out. And in 2014, I got um, a new computer. I got my Blue Yeti, which is right there. And I was like, I want to, you know, try this out. Let me see if I can do this. And then I started my YouTube channel. I started posting in like January, I think, of 2015. And here we are now with 2,000 subscribers. So pretty awesome, guys. Pretty awesome. How do were you when you first played The Sims? I'm a little confused by the question. Um, so I think I'm going to skip that one. Sorry about that. I don't know what the question's saying. 
I'm sorry. Uh, how did you make your channel banner? So yeah, I do all my channel art, my thumbnails and stuff myself, besides my avatar picture. I don't do that. I can't draw like that. But um, my banner, I do make myself and I use Photoshop. Go, I have like a a little like layout thing picture saved and I put that in and then I put like pictures from the internet so I go and google like pink backgrounds or stuff like that and just kind of put them together and layer different shapes and stuff and different texts and I download text from like defont.com and other font places for free yeah I've kind of just done it myself and just figured it out kind of I watched a lot of tutorials on like how to use Photoshop and like what each thing does so Google, basically Google is how I made it through that. Um, but yeah, I just use Photoshop basically. Dogs or cats. So growing up, I actually had cats like my whole life, uh, but I've always been like a dog and cat person. I love cats because they're very independent and like I don't have to take care of them that much and they just chill and they have like a little bit of attitude. Love that. Um, but I also want like a dog because I just want like someone to like cuddle with and like, just a cute little fluffy dog. Like, that's what I want. Sims 2 or Sims 3? That's like a tough one, okay? Probably I would say Sims 3 just a little bit more. Only because of creative style and it can change like patterns and colors and stuff. And there's more stuff you can do in create a sim. Uh, but Sims 2 for like gameplay. Like if I'm going to sit down and like hardcore play a game, it's going to be The Sims 2. The Sims 2, I could play that game for hours and not get bored. I love that game. What other games do you play besides The Sims? I play actually like a handful of other games. I'm very picky on the games I play. I'm not like, let me just play any game and it's cool. Like, I don't know, I'm kind of picky. It's kind of weird. But um, recently I've gone really into GTA 5. I love that game and I'm really bad at it. But like me, my husband and my brother will like play all together. Like, yeah, we're in the same house, but we'll like play online and talk to each other. And I really like like Zoo Tycoon growing up I was like my favorite game like Zoo Tycoon was like the bomb I had like the best zoo I had like a million dollar zoo and it was amazing the animals loved it there um so I like recently reinstalled Zoo Tycoon and like I love it it's so much fun besides that I don't really get to play too many other games besides like The Sims because that's mainly the game I love the most anyways um I also like like Need for Speed I have Need for Speed on my computer and I also play it on like the PlayStation 3 um PS4, like, I can't navigate for the life of me, so I don't do that. That's kind of it. Sims and car games and... That's basically it. To be in zoo. Zoo games. <laughs> do you have any other hobbies besides YouTube slash gaming? Um, I'm really into, like, makeup, fashion, beauty kind of stuff, like, hair and stuff like that. I'm really, really, really enjoying, like, learning, like, Photoshop and stuff like that and, like, editing styles and... I mean, I guess it's associated with YouTube, I guess. Um, and Tumblr. I, like, love Tumblr, if that counts as, like, a hobby. Love Tumblr. I have, like, my own personal Tumblr, and then I also have, like, my gaming Tumblr. And th that's really fun. I love the style of Tumblr, and I'm always learning new things on there from different people and different ways to edit. So, love it. Love it. When did you start YouTube and playing Minecraft? Um, so, I started YouTube about a year ago. It was, yeah, a year ago, and I actually don't play Minecraft. I don't like Minecraft because I am, one, horrible at it, and two, I'm just not really into it. It's not really, like, my gaming style, I guess. When you started YouTube, where did you think you'd go? I didn't, I had no expectations for this YouTube channel. Like, I was just like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to try this out, I think it'd be fun, I have the time for it, and, like, why not? Like, I spent enough time in The Sims, I might as well, you know, at least share it or something. <laughs> So, I actually had, like, really no expectations of, like, where I'd go with this channel. Like, I really had no clue. And so that's why it's, like, so shocking to me that I have 2,000 subscribers because never did I think, like, that would be me. That I would have this, like, big of a YouTube. It's not big at all, but it's a lot for me. Like, I wasn't expecting that. Did you make your channel art in Photoshop? If so, what techniques did you use? I did not make my avatar icon girl with pink hair uh, I did not make that that was uh, made by an artist I'll link her down below in the description bar I guess you should go check out her stuff because she is an amazing artist uh, yeah I use Photoshop for like my banners and my thumbnails the techniques I do for that um, I don't really know how to explain it I kind of want to do a few like a future video 
of me showing how I edit my thumbnails and how I make my banners and stuff. So let me know down below if you guys would like to see something like that because I totally would be interested in doing a video like that because I get so many questions on it and it's really hard for me just to like type it out or just to even explain it like here. I feel like I just need to show you guys. What's your favorite song? Um, that's hard because I love a lot of different music and I'm always changing out my favorite artists and favorite songs. Right now I've been really liking Aluna George's or Luna George. Aluna George's not Georgia, Luna George's. Um, I'm in control. That's a really good song. I, I'm like, that's good. The beat's good. The beat got me. And ooh, ooh, you're working so hard. I'm like doing this as like the slowest beat. It picks up. <laughs> I'm in control. Anyways. That's my favorite song right now. Or basically, like, literally this moment right now. It's my favorite song because it's been stuck in my head all day. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of like a whole bunch of different artists and different music. Um, I'll link my Spotify down below so you guys can go follow me on Spotify if you have Spotify. And I totally would love to check out you guys' other channels. And I do have to say, Deligracy follows me on Spotify. And I feel, like, really proud about that for, like, no reason at all. But she follows me on Spotify, so there's that. <laughs> How old are you? I am 20 years old. So I'm like kind of old, kind of not. It's like a weird age to be in. It's like, oh, you have responsibilities and you're an adult, but like you still look like a kid. So I get confused for being like in high school still. That happens a lot. <laughs> Do you want kids when you're older? Yeah, eventually. Eventually. Not right now. Not. I mean, I'm 20 years old. I don't need kids right now. I'm good. I mean, I definitely have like some friends that have kids already. I'm just like, no, nah, I'm good. What is your favorite animal? I, I kind of have two. I used to be like really into penguins, not like in a weird obsession thing like that, I'm not really like that with animals, uh, but I used to really like penguins because I saw happy feet and they're like, literally the cutest things. I love penguins. Then I also am like really into bunnies. People will say like, you know like how like you have like your animal that you look like, so certain people will look like uh, like an otter or some people look like um, a bird or something like that, you know? People say I look like a bunny. I don't know. Maybe it's the cheeks or something. People just say it like I look like a bunny. Maybe it's the teeth. I got the big two front teeth. It's probably the teeth, let's be honest. Which Sims game is your favorite? Sims 1, 2, 3, or 4? Um, probably it's a tie between 2 and 3. I think 3 a little bit more though. I know I already answered a question like this. I love them all. I really do. Sims 4 probably is like the bottom of my list just because I feel like it's lacking so much stuff and like it's just I'm not into it just because it's not my style for like number sims 1 that's like true original like that's the first game first sims game I ever played so that's probably gonna be like my like third one third from the top but then I feel like sims 2 and 3 are just tied because they're both really different games all the games are so different than the next and they're kind of like all just like their own individual games themselves because they all have different qualities to them so yeah they all are kind of really different so it's kind of hard to compare them you know what i mean um how did you get your cat so i actually have two cats uh you guys saw chloe in my let's chat video and then i have sophie who looks kind of similar to chloe and they're both ragdoll cats and three years ago we got them for christmas my parents went and got them and we got them for christmas and they were the family christmas presents because our cat had died like months before that and we were just all we all felt really lonely without having you know a household pet so uh we got two this time and so yeah that's how they were just a christmas present um i love your makeup oh thank you what products do you use in your daily makeup routine um I can, it kind of changes to be quite honest um i tend to use nars sheer glow foundation which is literally my favorite foundation ever it is amazing it lasts forever it's perfection. I use Smashbox's uh, Photo Finish Primer. Love that stuff. I cannot live without it because my makeup would just like be gone if I didn't have it. And I'm like looking over at my vanity right now to see <laughs> to see what I have. And then I also um, use Urban Decay's setting spray. I use that and I get like the big bottle. How long have you been playing Sims and how were you introduced? So I've been playing Sims since 2003 three or four, I think it was four, 2004, I've been playing Sims for, that's like what, 12 years? I've been playing Sims for 12 years now, which is like forever, and I never played it, I was 
eight years old and I used to take piano lessons at um, a neighbor's house and the mom taught me piano and we just played piano and she had um, two older daughters than me they were a couple years older than me and one time I was waiting for my mom to come pick me up and she called and she's like oh hey I'm gonna be a little bit late so because my mom was like out running errands so she's like I'm gonna be a little late can Brittany just you know chill there for a little bit and the lady was like yeah sure that's totally fine the daughters like we were family friends with this family so I knew the daughters already and I was just standing there they're like oh hey do you want to come play this game with us and I'm like oh sure like why not? You know, little eight-year-old me is like, sure, that sounds like fun. And they were playing Sims on like their dad's laptop or whatever. It was Sims 1, so I thought this was like the coolest thing ever. I, so I never played Sims, I never heard about it. And I watched them and they could control this family. And I was like, oh my gosh, that looks like fun. So um, in between, like it would be either like after piano lessons or I just wanted to hang out. I'd be like, oh, hey. Or they'd, they'd call me up. They'd be like, oh, hey, you want to come hang out? I'd be like, oh, yeah, sure. And like in the summers, like I'd go over and hang out and we would just like all play, like we'd rotate through. You get like 30 minutes to play like your person and then we would rotate through and we would make like different households and stuff like that. And I was like addicted. I was like, this is like the funnest game I have ever played. <laughs> I love this game. It was 2004 when The Sims 2 came out, but they didn't have Sims 2 and I was eight. So my parents wanted to buy the game for me because it was rated T. And I mean, I guess, I guess they were doing good parenting, I guess. But yeah, so I didn't get The Sims 2 until I was 12. So four years from then, so it was like 2008 or seven. I think it was like 2007-ish that I got my um, first copy of Sims 1 and Sims 2. I got them at the same time. And I like tried out Sims 2 and it was like the best thing ever. I was like, this is like a step up from Sims 1. It's like, this game is amazing. My question is, are you planning to have a baby in real life? I feel like because you guys know that I'm married, that like next after marriage is just babies, just full on babies. Um, yeah, eventually I'm going to have a baby in real life, uh, but not for a while. Like I'm good right now. <laughs> I don't want a baby. I'm good. What recording and editing software do you use? Good question. I, fe I felt like I was going to get a question like that. Um, so for recording, I used to use Bandicam, which is like a pretty good uh, recording software. I really loved Bandicam a lot. And then I started using OBS for Twitch to live stream because that's the only one that's like free that you can live stream with. But then I found that you could record with it and it's so much smaller of files when it records and it's um, easier, like it's not as hard on my computer while I'm filming. So. Maybe eventually when I upgrade my computer some more, it will be able to handle like bandy cam better. But right now I use OBS a lot. Um, the only difference is like slightly, slightly less quality than bandy cam, but I don't think you guys have noticed. Maybe, maybe you have, maybe I'm wrong. Editing software, I use Sony Vegas Pro 13. I think I use 13 or 12. Um, I love Sony Vegas. Um, your favorite Sims challenges? I'm guessing to watch. I would say watch. Um, I always love like classic legacy challenge. That's always fun to see like how many generations you can go through. Besides that, I haven't really done any mini challenges. And watching challenges, I don't really watch people's challenges either. I'm not really into like the challenge videos as much. Like the Hunter Baby challenge and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, it's kind of cool. Not really me though. Mostly just like legacy challenges. I'll watch legacy challenges and I'll play them. How many current households do you play regularly? So on, I have my... Ham and Family current households, if you guys have seen those. Uh, you guys know I've been playing that family for like ever. So I have like, I have like six separate households of the Hammond family. So it's like six current households. Okay, what are your honest opinions on Sims 4 and how they're doing so far with content and such? I like how you said honest. Thank you for that. Um, Cause I probably would like hardcore sugarcoat it, but you want me to be honest, so I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. I like Sims 4 in the create a sim aspect. Create a sim is so cool that you can just pull pieces and whatnot. It's not sliders. You can just go and touch the space on the face or the body that you want to change. You can change it. That is so cool to me. I love it. And I really love the custom content that the users have created. Totally for that. Gameplay wise, I don't like it because it's there's no depth to it. Everything is very surface level and I feel like we don't have anything deep. I don't, we have the emotions, which is pretty cool and gives more 
characterization to the characters, but I actually feel like the characters have less personality in The Sims 4. And I also feel like I wish they could have more traits. Like The Sims 3, you could have so many different traits, and I love that because I can add so many different aspects to my characters. Whereas Sims 4, you get three, and then their aspiration. So, like, I don't know. I just feel like... I want more, which sounds really greedy of me. I feel like the basis there is is not there. And toddlers. Need I say much more on toddlers? I hope like EA doesn't like think I hate them. I don't hate you people. I don't hate the creators of Sims. You guys do an amazing job. And they, I know that they do a lot of work. Sims 4 is just not my game. Not my forte, which is totally fine. What's your dream car? Oh, I don't even know. I, I drive right now a Toyota RAV4. And I love it. Could that be my dream car? My dream car is the car I have now. I'm not like a super car person. So I'm not like, oh, I, this is the car I see myself having in the future. Um, I'm definitely like a Toyota person, if that means anything. Um, I've had, I had a Toyota Camry. That was my first car. And now I have a Toyota RAV4. And it's like an SUV. And it's bigger. And it's nice. And I love it because I can drive in the snow and not die. So that's good. And what color would your dream car be? Red, probably red, which my RAV4 is red, so. Uh, why do you prefer The Sims 3 over The Sims 4? Kind of like what I just talked about now is that, like, The Sims 3, I can give so much characterization and so much, like, deeper character development in my characters than Sims 4. Sims 4, I feel like all my Sims are basically the same. There's just minor differences. Where do you want to take your channel in the future? Oh, that's such a good question. I want to get more into building and decorating. Um, I know you guys love my decorating videos, so I'm definitely getting more into that. Just like the collab that I just had with Kiwi Simming. I love that, that was so much fun, and I wanna do more stuff like that. And I do wanna get more into building. I do have a speed build sitting in my folder on my computer to upload. I just haven't had a chance yet. Just, that's basically it. It's like building and decorating I wanna get more into. And I also wanna introduce more games onto my channel. Uh, my channel's name is Girl Meets Pixels, so I can basically introduce any game I want. It doesn't have to be just Sims. I just really love The Sims, so it's like hard to break away from that, you know? But maybe I'll post some like GTA stuff in the future or Need for Speed stuff um, and other stuff like that. Uh, so hopefully, I think I got everyone's questions or about everyone's questions, but yeah, like, thanks guys, thanks. So yeah, thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers. I know I keep saying that, but like really, honestly, I am so thankful. Once I hit 1,000, I was like, oh my gosh, like 1,000, that's crazy. Think of like 1,000 people in a room. And now I'm like, think about 2,000 people in a room. Like that is crazy. That is awesome. So thank you guys so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for sending me questions. I had fun answering them and hopefully that kind of got you guys to know me better. I know it's kind of hard, like I can't just sit and talk about my life when playing The Sims, you know, that's not the point of the video. So it's kind of nice to just sit down and talk with you guys-ish and um, just be able to tell you more about me and my likes and dislikes and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys like that too. Maybe in the future I'll do more Q&A videos, maybe. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you aren't already subscribed, make sure to click that button down below. If you want to see more of me, you can check out my links to the side. I have my Twitter where I ramble all day. And I also have my other YouTube channel where I make beauty and fashion videos. So make sure to check them out. Thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye.